What's up guys, Javin back with another video and today I'm gonna to be telling you the story of when I applied to be on a reality gaming show. Gonna be honest, I'd never thought a reality gaming show was a thing, but when I heard about it, I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna go for it. This show was hosted by Team Liquid and it was called The Next Wave. I'm gonna take you through it chronologically how I experienced it. It all started out when my friend Alina or Liquid Alexa reached out to me and said that this competition was going on. She reached out to me because she knows that I Kovacs every single Single day so she thought I would have a good chance. The way you would qualify into the actual reality show was by playing Aim Labs, which is basically the free version of Kovacs. Team Liquid made their own course in Aim Labs and the best performers would have a chance at going to Cali and participating in the reality show. Now what's the incentive for getting in the next wave? You literally have to get top 6 out of 50,000 participants. So you're probably thinking there's probably some pretty crazy prize pools, eh? You'd be right, bro. First place gets $25,000 and a contract with Team Liquid, along with a lot of other smaller prizes like a $1,000 gift card to Team Liquid's store, some merch, some games gaming and streaming equipment, a secret lab chair, bro, those things are so expensive, and then a Mike and Ike swag bag. <laughs> That's probably the best one out of all of them. Second place would get $5,000 and a lot of that gaming equipment as well, along with a $500 gift card to Team Liquid store. And then third place, $2,500, yada, yada, yada. But on top of all that, you get a free flight out to Cali and you get to participate in this reality show, which in itself is pretty insane. So that was my incentive. That's why I started grinding. I was like, bro, Team Liquid is my favorite org. I really want to get signed to them. So I started grinding that Aim Labs course and I managed to get up to top 10. And that's when I submitted my application. My score dropped down to around top 40, but you didn't need to be the top six on the leaderboard. All you had to do was be at the top of the leaderboard and submit a really nice application. You may be wondering what kind of stuff was in the application. First off, they asked me why I wanted to be on Team Liquid. And I basically said, you know, they have amazing production quality from merch to socials to individual creators. And when it comes down to an org, I want to be in an org that inspires me to get better. And that's exactly what Team Liquid does. And then at the end, I said, also, I hate solids and gases. Just in case that, you know, I don't want them to get jealous and think that I'm in love with solids and gases when, you know, liquid. Okay. But also in that application, I had to submit a video that kind of introduced myself. And this is what I submitted. People call me Vibe and Jivin. Why, you might ask? Because each day with each post and each stream, I try to eliminate negativity by spreading good vibes. I post Fortnite tips and tricks, tournament videos, and real life talks to teach others how to vibe too. Three years into full time content creation, I can proudly say we've built a community of vibers. I've been editing, making thumbnails, and managing all my content since day one. So I've got the experience it takes, and my community is looking for a team to cheer on and I want that to be Team Liquid. So my initial application with my Aim Lab scores in that video was good enough to catch the eyes of the Team Liquid Scouters. They told me that I reached the top 20 participants and that I was invited to submit a further application that shows more about myself and also has more gameplay of stuff from stream and stuff from tourneys. Funny enough, Kenveens was also participating in this and he too made the top 20. So they asked us to submit two more videos, one that talks more about ourselves as people and one that shows more of our content and actual competitive skill. And these are the two videos that I submitted. Ever since I was a teeny tiny human, I loved to compete. And I mean loved. From playing in any and every sport to gaming with my friends, competing was my everything until I got to high school. There, my eyes were open to the other things that life had to offer beyond competition. I realized that I was mesmerized by creative minds. Whether it be creative thinkers, artists, musicians, or video editors, I realized that by centering my whole entire life on sports and gaming, I was missing so much of the world. For a few years straight, I started trying every activity that I could, from visiting art museums and trying to master acrylic painting, going to concerts and trying to write songs on the piano, going on adventures and writing about my experiences. I tried it all. Through these experiences, I found out my true passions and decided to take action. At the time, I was in college studying astrophysics, but I decided to scrap everything and pursue a more creative future. I transferred schools across the country and started studying game design closer to home. That's when I started more heavily pushing into content creation. And that's when I thought it was time. I had a talk with my parents and told them that I want to take a semester off school to pursue gaming full time. I had faith that with a little more focus, I could make my dreams a reality. I told my parents, if I don't hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this semester off school, I would just give it up and go back to school. In that one semester off school, I hit nearly 100,000 subscribers. 
That was two years ago and ever since then I've been a full-time content creator and competitive player. I edit all my own videos and all my thumbnails that way I can fulfill that creative side of me. I compete in every tournament and train every day to fulfill that competitive side of me. The biggest thing that separates me as a content creator and competitor is that I don't take it too seriously. I'm not in it to become the best. Obviously, I would love to become the best and I work hard towards that every single day, but that's not what I'm in it for. I'm in it for the love of the game, the love of the community, and the love of competition. I personally believe that people with my outlook on gaming competitions are the most fun to watch because we don't take it too seriously. We go with the flow, we do our best, but we celebrate every single day, even on our failure days, because we at least gotta play the game that we love. I wanna bring as much positivity as I can to this community, and I would love to do so while repping Team Liquid. What's up, my name's Jivan. I've been competing in Fortnite since the day it came out, pursuing the dream of being a pro player and at the same time a content creator. It's a rare thing to see a content creator going pro. It's typically one or the other, you know, there's pro players and then there's content creators and in the Fortnite community, they're completely separated. But I wanna break down that barrier and be one of the first content creators in a while to rise up to the tier one pro level. I've had success in content for a while, but it wasn't until this season that I finally made a rise as a competitive player. Starting with the first solo cash cup of the season, I got 101th place, my best placement yet. You have to be top 100 to make it to finals, so this was kind of heartbreaking, but also a big W. Going into the very next week, I knew I had what it'd take to qual to finals. And sure enough, that's exactly what I did. This was the game that sent me to my first ever solo cash cup finals. Is that enough, bro? I think we did it! Making it to my first finals was a huge accomplishment. Of course, being a content creator, I had to stream it, and I broke my viewer records like crazy, which to me was proof that people want to see content creators rise up and take down the pros. So heading into FNCS season, I paired up with my boy Roadie Bros, and we tried our best to make it to heats. To make it to heats, we had to place top 73 across all the weeks of qualifiers. Here's one of my craziest clutches to help us in our road to heats. Nice, Jivin. Menace, menace. Just play that. Okay. Those are all our builds down low, too. You could... Oh, you're good, bro. You got 100 bricks, though. Nice. Feel it, baby. Pop off, King. Yup. They got nothing. Look at him. Looking there like a flopper. Oh, I'm strapped. Yeah. Hey. Third. Hey. Let's go. Sadly, we came short of making heats by placing 170th instead of top 73. But this was a major improvement, and going into next season, I have full confidence that I'll be able to make it. I switched up my duo at the end of the season, and now I'm playing with Ken Beans, who is also in the top 20 of the Liquid Challenge. And in our second ever tourney playing together, we managed to make finals, which I had never done before in the duo game mode. Here's our biggest pop-off from that tourney that helped us to qualify. Come this way, storm tank, storm tank, storm tank. With you, with you. 100, dead, coming to you. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, we play low. I'm looking down, 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 right here. 60, cracked. Dead, dead on that kid. Nice, dead on getting mats. I play stairs. Coming. Okay. No mats, no mats, no mats. Dropping. All right, spraying up. Yeah, go. 80. Dead, dead on one, dead on one. 80, crack, dead! Let's oh my go. god, let's go, bro! <laughs> Three, two, two, one. Oh god. Oh snap. We go, let's go, go. 43rd, <laughs> okay. With my momentum growing in tournaments, my community growing in numbers, and my love of the game going up day by day, I know I would make a great addition to Team Liquid. So out of the top 20 of 50,000 participants, this application, those two videos actually got me up into the top 12 and I got invited to an interview. 
I was in a call with three Liquid staff members and they were asking me questions like, do I think I have what it takes to be thrown into a reality show where I'm put in all these like gaming challenges? And I was like, oh yeah, absolutely. Like I Kovacs every single day, so I have elite aim and I've played so many different shooters, so I'm ready. Then they were asking me more stuff about my brand. Like why did I choose the name Vibe and Jiven? And I basically just said, you know, Jiven is a mixture of my real name Ivan and my nickname Jack from high school. So I just combined the two Jiven. And then Vibe and Jiven just has a ring to it. I love spreading good vibes. So it's just the perfect name. And then they asked me about my life story. And I've been asked this actually a good amount. So I had a pretty good answer. I started out talking about how I was really into Call of Duty gaming back in the day. And I taught myself to edit as a 12 year old because I wanted to be a YouTuber. That skill stuck with me. And while I was in college and Fortnite came out, I started grinding it like crazy and making YouTube videos like every other day on top of being in a fraternity and studying astrophysics. But I got so determined to become a YouTuber that I decided to take a gap year from school and just full send YouTube and content creation. And it worked out. Sadly, after all this process, I did not get selected to be the top six and I didn't get a fly out to Cali but it was just really exciting to get on the radar of Team Liquid. This is such a big team, like highest of the tiers of orgs, and now they know my name. I actually got the honorable mention shout out and won a Mike and Ike swag bag. I got like a bunch of Mike and Ike candies, a shirt, socks, like just random stuff that was Mike and Ike themed. So I guess that means I kind of placed like seventh in the competition. I'll take it, bro. They also said they're going to send me a jersey, but I haven't gotten it. And it's been like two months since they said that. So I don't know if I'm going to get it. Either way, I'm just glad I got to participate.